Now the Tour de France might be over, but the Tour de France Femme Avec Swift has just started. The women are going to be racing round the roads of France for eight days. And I've come out here to see what hot tech I can get my hands on. And you're going to want to stay tuned because I found some very spicy bikes. Right, first up today, I've managed to get my little mittens on potentially one of the fastest bikes in the women's pro peloton. Well, it's the rider on the bike that makes it fast. But any guesses for whose bike this is? It is, of course, Annemiek van Vleuten's world champion painted bike. Now, this is a special bike just for this race. She's been riding a white canyon with the stripes on for the season. But for the Tour de France Femme Avec Zwift, which she won last year, she has this very stealthy bike and I quite like it. It's a very modest bike. It's not too bling, it's not over the top. It is, you know, we've got the world champion stripes on the top tube and on the forks. The rest of it is a matte black, which we all know I am a big fan of a matte black bike. It just looks very stealthy. And the whole bike just fits in very nicely together. This one is of course the Air Road and it does look like a very fast machine. But will this be? the bike of the yellow jersey wearer. She is one of the favorites going into the race, but let me know down in the comment section below if you think Annemiek van Vleuten is gonna be the winner of the Tour de France Femme Avec Zift 2023. All right, next up, I've got my hands on the WNT Sarah Tizit brand new Orbea Orca. Now, you might have already seen Sai's video released the other day on this bike where he goes into a lot of detail about the bike, but this is the brand new Orca, the seventh edition. And this, the Tour de France Farm, is gonna be its first ever outing at a professional race, which is gonna be really special. Now this bike comes in, well, the frame comes in at a weight of 750 grams, which is pretty light. Obviously it is the climbing bike, but just by looking at it, aerodynamics haven't been ignored here. We've got a really nice shape in the forks or cables have been hidden. Even the seat post clamp has been hidden as well. Now, a little behind the scenes for you, the team will actually just stick in stickers onto these wheels so they are fresh out the box. But they were also just telling me that they've been testing these wheels in Paris Bay and Strada Bianca early in the year, making little tweaks to them. But this is going to be their very first outing at the race as well. So pretty fresh bike for the team so the morale must be high on this. Now the team are with Obeya, so they've got, you know, they've got this bike, the Orca, they've got the Aero one, they've got the time trial bikes as well, because there is a time trial on the last stage, and the team were just telling me that they've got some really special custom painted time trial bikes for two of the riders, which I wasn't actually allowed to have a little sneak peek of, but I heard they are very special. But if you want to see those bikes, you're going to have to tune in to GCN Plus and watch the racing over there and spot some of the cool time trial bikes. Now you might be wondering, who is doing the Tour de France without any bottle cages? Well, this is actually a spare bike that has been built up and the girls have gone out on a little um, recon ride before the race. And apparently last night everybody was like, well, half of them wanted to ride the aero bike and half of them wanted to ride this bike. But this morning they all woke up and all wanted to ride the new bike. So they had to build me up a spare one so I could chat to you guys about it. So I'm sure there will be bottle cages on this bike very soon. So the team have also let us have a quick look in their truck and it looks like a very snazzy team truck, so let's go have a look. I feel like I'm in the F1 of a cycling team right now. This feels like I should be in an F1 race, but I mean, hundreds and hundreds of bikes. Love it. Big fan of the paint schemes on these bikes as well. Very nice. They've also got all of their time trial bikes over here, matte black, but how fast do these look? Look at the handlebars. Oh, very nice. But they've got all the wheels as well, all the different kind of like the climbing wheels, the more aero wheels. They've got a tri spoke up there as well. Got all the posters at the back. I think these have got more brand new frames up in bubble wrap up here. So over here, they've got their big kind of workstation. They've got all their tools and equipment in here. They've got spare saddles, spare handlebar tape, some yellow one as well, just in case they get a yellow jersey, which is very exciting. Um, they've got all kind of like, they've got their pressure to, to pump up the tires. They've got cleaning equipment. And of course, they're all important, little mascot.
Now, Canyon Tram have always been, in my opinion, one of the coolest teams in the women's pro peloton. Their kit has always stood out above everybody else. But I think they might have just taken it up a notch with these two very bling bikes. How cool are these? I'm actually like lost for words how cool these bikes are. Now they're definitely going to stand out in the race around France on these, but this has been done as a collaboration between Canyon with Zwift, which is a title sponsor of the race and the team as well. They've even gone as far as getting custom helmets, water bottles, and their glasses sponsor Oakley's had given them some very nice custom glasses for the race as well. But these bikes are meant to bring kind of light to women's cycling and the race. And I think they are definitely going to do that with these and wait until I show you the jerseys at the end. You're not going to want to miss those. Now you're probably wondering who designed these bikes. Well, it was actually the creative director at Canyon who designed them and he, he's actually designed the bikes or the design on the bikes since the team started. And they've always had, again, in my opinion, the coolest bikes in the Pro Peloton. And it kind of follows the same design as the bikes they've been racing on all season, but they've just gone really bling with like the colors from Zwift. They've got that orange, they've got red, they've got pink, kind of all colors that you'd think would clash, but I mean, it works in this scenario. But the rest of the bike is kind of like the standard equipment that they've been using all year, but they've just gone to town with the colors and I've been chatting to the riders and they are a big fan of this, but let me show you the jersey. How cool are these? If the bike wasn't enough on their own, this is just the cherry on the cake and you're not ready for the back. Ale, ale, ale. I like this a lot. I mean, you're not missing the Canyon Tram women's team in the Tour de France Fan Mavic Zwift, are you? You just can't, but I want, I want to get my hands on one of these jerseys as well. But um, the jersey was actually made by, again, the creative director at Canyon. This is actually Canyon kit as well. And I mean, how are they ever going to top this? I've now made my way over to the Life Plus Wahoo team, the only British team in this race. And I'm going to say it now. The women's pro peloton bikes are cooler than the men's. I've said it, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm not sure how you can disagree with me when the bikes are this cool. Now this is the team bike for Life Plus Wahoo for this year. In their new colors, they have a striking pink and a lovely kind of like turquoise blue. Big fan, this is the Ribble Endurance SL. Very nice bike. I think this frame is an extra small. They've got the Shimano Altegra group set. They've got Mavic Ultimate wheels, nice carbon wheels, carbon spokes, and the carbon hub in the middle, which are very stealthy, I have to say. They have Celitalia saddle, bar tape, and they're obviously sponsored by Wahoo, so they have the Powerlink pedals, as well as the head unit as well. So the pedals will measure their power, transfers to the head unit, which they can see, which is extremely important. They also have a really cool new jersey as well. I'm gonna try and get my hands on it, but I can't promise anything. I have my hands on the jersey that the team will be wearing for this race and this race only. But like a lot of other teams, they switch out their kit for one race a year. And this is their kit. And they're running a really cool campaign behind this kit. And it's called Embrace Every Moment. And you can see that on the back of the jersey there with the little French flag. And it is a campaign that have a lot of different brands behind, all the brands that are involved with the team. And it's under the Life Plus Wahoo Foundation. And it's going to try and help bring awareness to get clean water to schools in Kenya as well. But team are definitely going to stand out in this kit but if you do want to find out more about this campaign head over to their social media to find out more now we're all used to seeing the kind of black wahoo kickers but the team have these special stickered up wahoo kickers with their team colors on and my word they do stand out this team have gone all out with everything but big fan of these come on stickers for my one at home Maybe if I ask nicely, they'll give me some. They're cool, aren't they? Okay. 
So I've made my way over to Little Trek, and as most of you know, Little have come on board the team as a sponsor, meaning they've got new buses, they've got new kit, and they've got new coloured bikes, which I am so excited about. And I don't want to say these are my favourite bikes because every other bike I've seen today has been absolutely amazing, but these might just be my favourite. And to top it off, every single rider has a different colour bike. They are all gorgeous, but I'm gonna have to pick just a few of my favourites to show you. Ooh la la, I cannot put into words how beautiful this bike is. Now, some of you might recognize this bike because it has been featured on the tech channel before. When Si went out to the Tour de France, Mads Pedersen has this exact bike, which is very cool. But I thought I would show you again, just in case you missed it, because it is so beautiful, I cannot put into words. This is obviously the Madone, but there is a few different ones I want to show you as well that you might not have seen. Now, apparently this is a unicorn inspired bike for Elisa Balsama because apparently she's a big fan of unicorns, but a lot of people think just because Mads had the bike first, it was made for him. But actually, apparently, the team say it was made for Elisa because she likes unicorns. And here's another one of my favorite. I mean, at this point, I've shown you three out of the seven bikes because, I mean, they're all just so beautiful. But this one is Elisa Longo Borghini's bike and it is like a mirrored, shiny effect that you can literally see your face in it. It is so clean right now. So fair play to the mechanics for polishing this one up. But I think there's going to be a lot of jealous riders when they see the little track riders come along on these snazzy bikes. But how cool. There is another tiny little detail that I have spotted, and it is the iridescent bolt. So every single bike has got iridescent little, little bolts in them, which is a very cool little detail that you might not notice, really, if you look at it from afar, because you're so drawn to the mirror effect. But I mean, so many cool bikes here. Yeah. Now, unlike some of the other bikes that we've seen today, you can actually buy these color bikes on the Trek website. So if you want to ride the same bike as Elisa Longo Walgini and Lizzie Diagnan, then you can do. Okay. So there we have it. Those are some of the most bling, spiciest bikes I have seen in the women's peloton for some time now. But let me know down in the comment section below what bike has been your favorite. I actually just can't choose because every single one has been outstanding. But if you did enjoy this video, then give it a big thumbs up and make sure to tune in on GCN Plus to the women's Tour de France fam Avic Swift live and on demand as always.